Cyril's coming in. They got to rotate right now. He's probably... He could come up y'all's left-hand side. Watch it. He may cut through before y'all get here. He got out. Guy dropping in right above you guys. Earth pushing as well. They still have a team at all. Uh, they still have a team at bank. Or... On roof here. I just got sniped from the back left. Who are Down you? Down one in the back of the Bertha. I got no eyes on the guy back left. Down a guy inside gas. Oh there it my is. god, those guys think I'm cheating. I don't know where this guy is. Bertha just precision. Coughing on me? Right here, right here, right here. Go. My bad art, my bad art, my bad all art. Good. All good, all good. All right, so my mistake in this was one, I kind of assumed that art was gonna die. I'm not gonna lie. I really assumed he was just gonna go ahead and die. I didn't think he'd make it safe. So I kind of just counted him out, which is a terrible play. What I should have done originally was the moment he got down and he crawled around the corner to the right-hand side, as you can see right here on the mini map, I should just jump down, try my best to play that wall and prevent the enemy who downed him to come and execute. I failed to do so and it cost art his life. Bad team play by me. I'm a huge team player. If you guys watch the videos, you know it. Um, that was an absolutely terrible play right there. I got caught up in my own shit. Didn't even see him rotate. And also I was so worried about the guys at bank still, as you can see here, I divert all my attention to this guy here, which is also another mistake. Cause you can see right here, Milky has a line of sight on him also. Um, and I'm trying to fight for the kills. And again, in, in hindsight, it ended up getting art killed. I do jump down on him like Rambo, which, you know, ended up working out. The only reason I jumped right here is because of the precision. The precision's coming in, it really muffles all audio around you. If there would have been no precision, I would have jumped down. The moment I pulled my parachute, he probably would have turned on me and shot me out of the air or as I landed, and it would have been a bad thing for me. But again, using the noise of the precision strike, I was able to jump on him. He had no idea I was there, pulled my chute and everything. And by the time he realized what the hell was going on, he was already dead. I'm gonna wait for Art. I'm not leaving yet, because oh, yeah, yeah. if he loses the ghoulie, I'm gonna have to come right back. He jumped. Oh, no, there he is. Cracked. Dead. Nice. Good shit, Art. I'm gonna grab some UAVs real quick, boys. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab some ammo. I'm gonna land on my shoes. Oh, on me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have up for you? Oh, it's a key. It's two. Coming. They're not good at all. They're both horrible. <laughs> There you go, get them, baby. Yeah, they're, they're both god awful. Thank you. My fucking dude, French out here slaying it up, baby. It's like Rich is Sorry, to I probably could have saved you. Yeah, Rich has to follow you, dog. Put your money where your mouth is, Rich444. Four, four, four. Shit, we got, we got fucking ammo for days. I mean, I'll take this money. <laughs> there's a, um, there's a loadie right there. Getting shot from no idea. I'm just gonna land on Lodo. Uh, so I think no idea right where I got shot from. Literally son. on my ping. Wait, I didn't ping anything. Why won't you ping it, you fuck? I can't ping. I rotate out of the building. I'm going. To, oh, snipe from. Yeah, I don't even know where it's at. I couldn't see shit. Bad. Where was he? On the, on the southwest. On the Down. He's going closer. Last guy's down over here. He's probably gonna selfie. Yeah, I saw. He's slipping up onto roof. Thank you, sir. His boyfriend's definitely selfed over here then. Uh, two, two, two. On me, on me. Oh my god, it's close, boy. Holy shit, son. All right, so at this point, I noticed on the mini-map, as you guys can see, that there is a vehicle in motion heading towards us. Now, I do notice the buy station also, and I go ahead and assume he's going to go to the buy station. But 
just in case he doesn't i'm still keeping my attention on that mini map so when i get my loadout or when i go to get my loadout if he does get closer i can just instantly beam him out of the vehicle vehicles don't really scare me that much unless it's a bertha but these guys right here if they drive at me i know nine times out of ten i'm beaming right out of the seat so i don't really trip on that um, and as you can see, clearly does go over there, grab my shit instantly, and without even hesitation, instantly turning on the enemies and making my way over there. Notice, though, what our squad's doing. Me and Art are moving up together. Um, soon, French will as well. Milky's dealing with his own fight, as you guys can still in the, see in the kill feed. So we really won't worry about um, discussing him being separated because, again, we have, we are pretty confident teammates, so we can kind of go off and do our own if we choose to. We see the buy getting bought, and, of course, we have a guy right here um, hiding. Now, a lot of people might think to themselves, how the hell... Do players spot these other players? Um, basically, just follow the tracers. That's the only reason I knew where he was at. Not popping up a mini map. Can't tell that way. No UAV in the air. Can't tell that way. Um, and, and even this right here, it's hard to see him. The only reason I do see him is, again, the tracers. And plus, he's got a little bit of movement. If he wouldn't have been shooting, I may have overlooked him completely. So if you guys are ever struggling where to find the enemies, always follow the tracers. It tells you a lot of information. So we go ahead and get that knock. Just beam city with the EM2. My accuracy at this point has been a little, been a little wishy-washy because this is one of my first games is back. I do notice that the player's in here. Now, I automatically assumed he was in here because someone just bought the buy back and no way did he make it all the way back to his boyfriend's. Um, so I went ahead, just checked the bus. That's where I figured he was. And sure enough, there he's laying prone, doing it, whatever it is he was doing. Now, what this player should have done is when his teammate was shooting at us, he should have joined in the fun. They should have put two lines of fire down on us, help either suppress us or take us out. But because he hid like a little baby back bitch and he didn't, him and his teammate both got knocked. So in my head, again, I'm assuming that he bought back a teammate. I know he bought back a teammate. So I'm accounting one of their teammates to not really have much loot. So when you hear me say there's one more guy, it's, it's just because I'm not really accounting the guy that just got back back. Most of the time they're still floating or if they do land again, they're not going to have much um, to contest us with. So I'm not really too worried about them. I do get tunnel visioned on the down. However, big mistake and it almost cost me my life. Luckily, the enemy had a little bit bad aim. Um, I really didn't give him any movement. I just kind of did a little bit of this and that. I was able to dodge getting shot, thankfully, and I was literally one-tapped. Oh, there it is. Um, and again, instead of re-peeking like I was thinking about, I saw Traces coming over my right-hand shoulder, so I just let him take him out, and that was that. Now, as I'm plating up, you notice that I'm peeking. I'm not just sitting there laying prone, hiding like a bitch, plating, right? Let's just rewind it one more time so you guys can see it. As I am plating, I am still peeking and sidestepping, keeping my body moving as well as my eyes scanning. I cannot stand when I see people laying prone plating up just because they're afraid to get hit. You need to move. Now, this right here caught me off guard. I, I saw the bounty, but most of the time, the bounty is not really updating in an accurate position. So I kind of assumed enemies were over here. I thought they jumped down into the ravine. Big mistake on my part, luckily... Um, I was able to get the beams off, but you can see he caught me mid switching my weapons, which is usually a, an instant death for you. But luckily I go ahead and hit him with a little drop shot. It was my last hoorah, so to speak. Um, drop shotting the situation is bad juju, but I was dead regardless. I figured if I can just move my body just a fraction of an inch away from his crosshair to give me a little bit of time to get the shots off on him. And as you guys can see right here, barely any of him was even peeking out, but I still hit the drop shot and still just follow the enemy. And I, I believe I do get a little bit of uh, damage through the rubble. Um, yep, there it is right there. And thankfully, Artis War was there to clean up the teammate because, again, I was so busy tunnel visioned on the enemy that I didn't see his teammate right behind him. So luckily, it worked out. And here we are. Oh, for sure, I was fucking dead. When he peeked that heady dude, that was it. GG. I had no fucking bullets left. I got lucky on that one. I got real lucky on that one. I'm going to go back to that guy, actually. Oh. I have a lot of money. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. We're over rich. Um, when I grab this bounty, oh, behind us. On, on by, on by. Take your Facebook DMs lately. I have not, my guy. Am I missing something? Might be more under you, both. Uh, oh, oh my god, I'm. Is you down that kid? Names. Yeah, I pulled the guy. I killed the bounty. They bought back over here. Oh, yeah, right below me. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat it. Just cash on the stairs to my right here. I got him. Two in the I dropped money on buy. Down. Watch Other left guy. side here. This guy's landing on me. It's all you, Doug. Wall.
Got, got one down, one bird. Somebody else. Alright, as far as this is concerned, just reading the mini-map, trying to figure out where I want to go and get the fights done. Now, I noticed that Blue's in an immediate fight. Granted, he's not in danger because he's got elevation, but these guys are closest to us, right? They're on the same elevation, so of course, we want to go ahead and take out these guys. I know Art is next to me, um, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to go ahead and get the kill, but I want to follow him just in case I need to back him up. As you can see right here, Art is going in one way. He basically has the kill secure, but instead of me funneling in behind him like a lot of players do... I'm going to try my best to flank from the left-hand side in case he either A, runs away, or B, happens to down Art, and I can hit the enemy from another angle. So that secures this first player. Now, as I'm navigating, I do notice movement right here, as you can see. I go ahead, swap my weapons. I kind of slide to the right, slide to the left, B, hop out. I'm able to get some shots on the enemy. Luckily, Milky is able to down him, so all I had to do is clean him up. But that secured that fight. Now we do at this point have a guy in the air, not worried about him. We have three guys over here. So of course I'm gonna take the fight that's closest to me that no one else is gonna mess with. Green's close to him, orange is close to him. Milky's probably gonna handle the guy in the air. So that leaves me to mess with the fourth teammate. So as you can see, I'm gonna break off right away. Now I kind of slow played this um, just to be safer. I probably shouldn't have. I noticed the enemies running to my left. For some reason, I'm still staring at the tunnel. Not really that observant. I'm assuming at the time I wasn't looking at the minimap. So kind of what force, so that's kind of what forced me to play this a little bit slower. I wasn't really too observant, but I am going fully committed now. I wasted a little bit of shots. I want you guys to always learn from this right here. When an enemy is in a doorway and he's about to be safe like this, don't shoot the enemy because it's going to reveal yourself to him and he's going to play defensively, sit in the corner and try to outplay you. I would not have had to waste the stun grenade if I would have held my shots. If I would have just not shot, Pushed in closer, I still would have won the fight, and I'd still have the stun. But because I did shoot at the enemy and set his alert off, I was like, you know what? Let me throw this stun just in case he's going to sit in the corner. And sure enough, what does he do? You're damn right. He sits in the damn corner. No surprise there. We're able to get the easy kills. GG to this fight. Again? Fucking tell me big time, bro. Uh, right on the edge of zone. Tapped him. Everything inside me is telling me not to do this. I'm doing it anyway because I'm stupid, so. Now, this right here needs no breakdown. He's just AFK. Oh. <laughs> GG. Coming, coming. I think they're on the by itself. Crack that guy that's dropping in over there. For another guy. Above. above me. Oh, he sniped me. Oh, no. I'm good, I have self. Uh, right here. Down above us here. No, I broke my legs because the animation didn't work. Uh, guys in the ravine with me, if you can get a res off, he's pushing right to me. Right in front of me, right on me. He doesn't even know I'm here. Knocked him. Need a res art. Thank you. Up on this building, French, you see it? Yeah, nice. Good beams. Yeah, I don't think that guy's plates. Good plates. Savage, how you doing? Um, I'm in distress, but we surviving, baby. We surviving. I got two guys on me. I'm about to UAB right now. Oh, we're good, son. We good. I'm hitting this guy in the left. I want to wipe this team. Okay. They weren't done. Almost died because I'm bad aim. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this fight right here. Now, I assume that somebody's on the buy station. You really cannot tell with an advanced UAV. Now, advanced UAVs are amazing, but um, especially in quads, I do prefer regular UAVs if I can at any point in time, right? You'll notice throughout this entire fight, I'm sitting on a lot of money and I'm just buying UAV after UAV so I can see their elevation. Unfortunately, advanced don't show elevation. It is what it is. So we have to kind of move off of that. Now, again, I do assume that there is one down here. There might not have been. And if there wouldn't have been, there's really no harm, no foul, right? So I'm playing this, assuming there's a guy on the buy station because I always say you want to assume there's gonna be players in power positions or points of interest. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I go ahead in here. Um, uh, again, you can hear me say it. I'm gonna. I think there's a guy on the buy station. 
And there he is, of course, just caught out in the open. Again, nothing he can really do. But notice this. I break away. Now, at this point, we have a normal UAV up. But I was in mid-combat when it transitioned from the advanced to the normal. So I wasn't paying attention to the arrows. Both of these guys are above me, so I am safe. But I didn't know that at the time. So what I did was got the kill and just bailed out. Even though it was a team wipe, again, I instantly reacted instead of reading my UI, reading my, instead of reading my HUD. So that's why I bailed away right here, just in case he had some boyfriends around lurking. I didn't want to get shot in the side. But also throughout this entire gameplay of me knocking out these guys one at a time, I want you guys to notice how I'm moving around, how I'm always buying UAs, right? I'm always throwing UAV up in the air. Um, oh, this right here too. I, I pinged the enemy. Now I know he's on the outside, but I want to know exactly where he is. So I just go ahead, instantly stop what I'm doing, pull up my map, ping the most wanted, and that is wait for him to come to me. A little bit of a bitch move it is, um, but at the same time, if you can get an easy kill, why not? And here he's just running right to me. Had no chance in hell. Um, it is what it is. That's just the, the risk you have playing with the most wanted bounty, especially on the edge of the circle. So again, going back to going back to the buy station, I have 19 grand on me. I could buy three UAVs and get that advanced up. But again, I want the elevation meter so I can tell where the enemies are exactly at so I don't get clapped. Now, I notice there's a guy moving his way towards me, so I'm just going to hold this angle. I have a big problem with over-challenging enemies because I just have a big ego when it comes to this game. And I like to eco-challenge everybody, but I'm trying to practice being patient, waiting for enemies that are moving towards me to come to me. If I would have gone out there and fought this guy, I could have put myself in a bad position, got 1v1'd, or he could have had a teammate back there to clap me in the face. So again, just playing it slow, waiting for him to come to me. Luckily, he's already being shot at, so all I did was literally hit him three times and he died. And again, I'm waiting for his friend to come. I'm reading the map right now. I notice he's by the vehicle, so I'm instantly assuming he's going to get in the vehicle, and that's exactly what he does. Now, I love shooting at vehicles if I can. I can do so safely, so that's what I do. I don't really do too much damage to him, but it is what it is. Now, I do notice right here at this point that there's an enemy above me. What's strange is he's not on the building, so I get a little scared, and I start to move away. Instead of tunnel visioning on the, on the vehicle, I start moving away from this area because I have a little bit of fear. And there it is right there. Go ahead and hit the prone and instantly bailing away. Now this right here is a lot of people's mistakes. You'll go over here, you'll hit the prone. You see the guy, people sit here, they'll reload, they'll plate up, do whatever they need to do. And then they'll re-challenge the enemy. You do not want to do that. This, this angle right here, he's got a beautiful angle on me. Great headshots, he's shooting down on me. So all he's got to do is aim, pull up on the stick a little bit and he can get some nice shots in. So I'm just going to bail away from this altogether, live the fight another day. And the movement just being a little bit quick. Doesn't have to be fast as fuck. Just get in and get out of there. Make decisions in real time. Um, and just reposition your entire body. And that's exactly what I did, again, to kill the guy just like I did last time, right? Wait for him to come to me. Play patience. Bait the body. He runs right to me. It's GG. Worked the first time, I think, on his teammate as well. And it worked the second time. Now, as far as he's concerned, he should have stopped running the moment I shot him. And he should have ADS'd on me and shot back. I don't know why he didn't. Granted, out of position, he's probably going to die, but it's better to shoot the enemy than just run straight at him. I don't care what, what the thought process is. He's just like, hey, Savage, I'm here. And again, just notice how many UAVs I buy out throughout the match. Not just me, but my teammates as well. on top or something. Loading. He's gonna have to jump. Another guy floating in. I'm gonna assume he's going Everybody for his shit, which he is. Yes, sir. Floater, southwest. If I get knocked from this guy, I'm gonna fucking snap. Watch. I have a strange feeling. Got ourselves about to a fuck floater. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, come on, man, jump. My ear itches. I'm ready to get this kill. Nice. So I can scratch it. Crossing low too. Oh, right in front of us. Whoa. 16k. Dude, got my ass. When did he jump, son? He must jump off the backside. Oh, it's not good. Who's shooting at me? Nice. We can just hold these guys on the right. This is a terrible fight over here on the right. Unless these guys are low. These guys are definitely low. I can precision. Come out on purple ping. On, I'm gonna get on the roof. You can, you can, you can do the sign cross this way. I think. Oh, this is exciting. This is a good game. Also, disclaimer, I know my crosshair placement is terrible. I've been gone for two weeks. Give me, give me a break. Uh, he might not be low, actually. I 
Just across. There were two. I don't know where his girlfriend is, but there were two. I don't know if I can vault this. I might be able to ride this wall. No, nah, not a chance. Team on 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 uh, is pushing us. Buy back Down. at restaurant. Watch blue mark. I'm pushing this. I'm pushing this hard. I'm pushing. Can you push this with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little behind you guys. Oh, shoot. We gotta watch the sniping across. Yeah, 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 sniping across. Downed him. He's fucked. All right, so this fight right here, and, and it gets real hectic towards the end of this match. So this is, we're getting, we're getting very close to just bad everything. Somehow we work our way out of it. But anyway, um, this right here, this is something you guys need to stop doing. We see it all, time and time and time again from players of all skill, right? Whenever their teammate goes down, they hide for whatever reason, instead of trusting themselves out play situation. Granted, it's a 4v1 clearly because his teammate's down. But still, try your best to play it and outplay the situation. First off, before me, green or blue are even there, you have orange sitting out here in a very vulnerable state. He could easily, or I say he's, he could attempt to 1v1 art and then maybe try to outplay me. Most of the time that I'm in a spot like this, I'm going to try my best to outplay the situation. I may go for the res, but the moment I hear footsteps, I'm going to stop res and I'm going to try to fight. But of course, they both go into a cubby and well, you guys know the rest. It's history. Not sure why people do this every time. But they do. I mean, look at this, dude. He barely even hits me. Somehow he almost breaks my armor from nice. two bullets. But back. it is what it is. It's nah, this could be a, this could be a long drawn out fight. I think we just need to move on or uh, something because we are getting shot yeah. at by three teams right oh, now. I'm getting shot at from restaurant yeah. too. Are you Every safe? Time I stand up. I don't think I'm safe. Yeah, PA. Notice that right now I'm telling everybody we need to get the hell out of here because we do have multiple teams shooting at us. We're being shot from the north. We're being shot from the prison area and also the guys across the ravine. I don't like being in the middle of a bunch of fights. Especially when we can't really solidify any kills. Uh, Art, there's a guy top crane. He's dead in the top green tower. One guy down over on walls oh, over here. No, top tower across is dead. We got two, three guys over there. They're in a bad spot. I'm, I'm just cracking their armor. They're going to be so weak when they cross. Tower's dead. You got the Bertha? Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Oh, Yo, Bertha, come up behind us. Watch something. Just, just got out. Just got out. Just got out. Bro, this guy's able to wall bang all of this. Oh my god, they're all ghosted crouch walking around here. They're so bad. We can hold right here, guys. Oh. All right, so that's the second time this game I've literally with my thermites. That's on me. Um, usually I'm pretty accurate with them, but I'm feeling some type of way right now because I'm pretty trash with them. Um, let's go back to this, right? So again, like I was saying, I was worried about these guys right here on the mini map, um, on the left hand side of the mini map because they have a beautiful heady. So they're going to be shooting at us. Even if we get the knocks like I did, execute them is going to be pretty difficult since they're all sniping. And I try not to contest snipers with ARs when they have that good of a heady. Uh, and at the same time, we were getting shot by a team over here and behind us at prison, as well as somebody. I don't even know how the, who that had an angle on us, but someone over the northeast side was shooting at us too. So that's why I recommended we all dip out. Now, um, I do notice that Milky does have a level two threat. The Bertha is making his way to him. So I'm going to go ahead and try to help him out. He does jump out and instinctively I wanted to go ahead and cross right to his face, but I saw this dot right here. I didn't know the situation at hand. I didn't know where this guy went, who this guy was. So I wanted to go ahead and hit it from a different angle. So that's when you see me kind of hesitate and then adjust the right hand side. And I'm kind of reading the dot, seeing where he goes. Now he could wrap around either side and you see me kind of bounce back and forth. Um, and I just want to make sure I pick the right side. I noticed he is pushing the left-hand side of this building. So I go ahead, get some shots off, not able to break the enemy, but I'm instantly going to push in before he puts any more damage onto him. Now, right here, you see me look at the ground and kind of hesitate, step back and forward. I thought I had a stun on me. I didn't. So that was a false hesitation. 
Um, and then I push up. Now he does hop in the Bertha. Instinctively, again, I want to jump in the Bertha and, and shoot him in the back, but you will die. So I back away, said, screw this, get on top. There's the whiff. Get on top of this, and there's nothing you can do. So if there's a vehicle around you, just hop on top of something. Try not to get run over by it. Try not to get splatted by it. Nothing pisses me off more than getting splatted by a vehicle. And we're able to go ahead and take him out. Pretty self-explanatory. On his body. Come on, let's go get, let's go get him. Um, yeah, drop your money. I'll go get him if you want to help him out. Don't, don't do something crazy. I'm not, I'm not. I kind of want to rotate back into this, this over here. Yeah, we can. And hold them. They yeah, have a lot of leverage and cover on us there. Yeah, I think we got to get vacant. There's already a team vacant. What? Wait, Milky? Okay. Oh my god. Crawl down, crawl down, crawl down, crawl down. Not much analyzation there, just, uh, and I'm guilty of this too. Just whenever you die and we're close to a buy, don't go take a piss. Yeah, they might be busy rezzing too, to be honest. It might be all right. We've got place for you. Are there weapons from the guys you killed over here? All right, so right there, real quick, and I'm not going to put my face cam up. My mindset right now is he's down, he's in a bad spot, and I'm a little nervous, right? I know that the guys that down him are over to the right hand side behind my webcam, so I'm a little bit hesitant to res him. What gives me a little bit more confidence is when I see the buyback flare go off. The moment that goes off, you see me go in because I know, due to deductive reasoning, that they made their way back there to buy back their boyfriends that were able to kill. So I'm hoping, now there may be a straggler out there, so you see me still kind of observing just in case, but I'm hoping that they're all by the buy station and I can get the res off safely, which we end up doing. Yeah, they might be busy resing too, to be honest. It might be all right. There it is right there, boys. We've got place for you. Are there weapons from the guys you killed over here or no? I don't know if they're good. Top tower. Top um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the containers over here. The blue ones. Um, Yeah, I think the ones you're next to. Yeah, I found a few things. You should. I don't have any ammo. We're at art. We're at like over here. Two down. I'm just pushing the head. So that was just a simple gatekeeping position right there. Really nothing to it. Um, we knew the guys that ended up killing Milky. We're going to come that way anyway. If they didn't rotate that way, they were going to come around to the north-hand side. And again, we'd be able to gatekeep them because they have to run across an open street. It's all about just holding positions. Now, the dangerous part about it is our back is to the prison area and the hill as well. But as you can see with the tree coverage, I felt relatively safe being able to hold that, which we were. Good shit, good shit, good shit. If you knew we were there, why didn't you shoot me? You're the bitch. Um, oh. Oh, I got him. Are there more clusters clustered? Thank you. Yes, sir. Where are these guys? They're like on gas station. I might play gas. Yeah, I just don't have a gas mask. Close, close, close. No, oh my god, no shot. I'm coming in the gas. I'm coming in. Res. He just self res, self res outside, self res outside. Coming to the front door, front door, front door. We need to rotate hard out of here. I have a precision. We're in a bad on spot, right, boys. Right. I might be dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. Down. Good shit, boys. We gotta go. All right, so I want to get a little bit intimate with you boys and discuss this one because this is a lot of decision making going fast as fuck, right? So let's rewind to the highlight of the fight. We're at a shed. We're out positioned. We're barely safe. We need to, we know that we're going to have to rotate over to the east hand side and we have enemies over here. 
Now, when my high alert goes off on the right hand side of the screen, bless high alert, highly recommend it. I don't need these ghosts anymore. It's amazing. Um, we instantly know there's enemies over there and they have got a great position on us because we're forced into this little bitty shit shack, right? So at this point here, I can't really see him having a hard time seeing enemies. This dude's basically invisible. And again, all I can do is follow the tracers, decide I gotta put my gas mask on. I'm about to go down. My teammate's about to go down. Let me just bail back and get the res off. Now, cluster strikes don't scare me. They're fucking trash. I don't know why Ravensoft even keeps them in the game. They're absolutely garbage. Don't waste your money. I, usually if I pick them up, I just randomly launch them somewhere because they suck. So with that being said, I know I'm safe. So go ahead and get the res off. My teammate says close, 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 close. And also my dude Titans fan hit me with the 666 jump scare midstream. Thanks a lot. Trying to scare the shit out of me. Make me lose the fight. But I do go ahead, hear that he's close and instantly want to bust out. Because I'm going to go ahead and read that they're going to try to go for a gas mask play. Why do I think that? Because no one's crazy enough to go through the front. Because we have a window and a doorway, we could easily hit them. So, of course, if I was the enemy, I'd play the gas as well and come in the back door. So, that's exactly what I go to counter. Now, I may have been wrong. I may have been right. Luckily, I was right. And there he is. Coming right out. He had no idea what the hell hit him. And again, right here, I'm trying to find the enemy and I can't. And knowing where he's at now afterwards, I can tell... But because of the gas and everything blocking it in real time, I had no idea. So what do I do when I can't find the enemy? Follow the damn tracers. He shoots, go into him, and he does win the gunfight. I'm able to break his armor before he breaks mine, but he hits his heady, and he gets the knock off. Now I hear the self-res. I start calling it out to my teammate. That way my teammates go out there. They know what they're about to expect. French is able to go ahead and get the down, and I'm going to go ahead out of this spot and get the fuck away from here because this is a bad spot circles moving in 0.7 seconds we need to move out the last thing you do when there's enemies over here is move up through the trees very little cover very little concealment you have a very high probability to get beamed the shit out of now i do know there's a player over here at least there was at some point i don't care he's not an immediate threat these guys are i'm gonna go with my play regardless so of course i'm gonna go ahead and bust off to the northeast and i'm gonna use this little wall right here as a little bit of a, a heady, so to speak, or at least a little bit of cover, because it's all we got. I'm gonna try to get some shots off on the enemy. Unfortunately, I'm not able to, but because he's hiding behind the tree stump, I'm gonna make a break for this wall and go to this next wall right here and just play all of these as I move forward. Kind of just watching the enemy, seeing him run across, and then once I do spot him, I'll go ahead and take some shots, as you, as you see right here. I'm able to get the armor break, able to down him right before he crosses the wall, and also, this is just reaction time. You all will develop this eventually. And I'm not out here saying I'm the best player in the world. I'm definitely fucking not. Um, but it just practice your reaction time, guys. Try to react. Don't overthink things. The moment I see him, I instantly turn on him. I'm able to get some shots off. And I go around over here because, again, the self-res. I've been robbed of four kills so far this game because of self-reses. I want to make sure in this situation, which we're extremely screwed in, I'm going to get these damn kills. And that's exactly what happens. Go ahead and get the kill. The rest is history. We got to go. Holy shit. We got, we got a full send. We got a full send. They're right above us on the ridge. I have no ammo rip. I'm dead, GG. What do you need? What do you need? No, I'm good, 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 good. They're fighting the fight. Perfect, perfect. All right. And before we get into this fight, and I'm going to stop it for a second, but before we get into this fight, this is the importance of listening to your surroundings, right? It is a 3v2 scenario. So it's a 3v1v1 right now. We are at such a disadvantage right now. All the enemy had to do was peek down and shoot us as we cross in the open. But. Because he was scared and decided to lay prone in a bush, because he just didn't listen, wasn't observant, were you able to close the gap, get safe, by the way, and also push up there? Now, these fights are pretty self explanatory, so we really don't have to react and talk about it. Um, just sit back and watch how the show unfolds. I'm trying to take y'all's way. Just real patient here. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. Safe, 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 safe. Safe, safe, safe. Art cover. He's left, left, left side of the top point in a bush. Got any place for me, French? Uh, I got one. I love you. I stunned him. Perfect, perfect. All right. 3v1, 3v1. 3v1. Good shit, brother. Now, this right here just kind of guess where they're at, and that's exactly what I do. Don't really know why risk it. Even if I Watch go down, we have two teammates. Got a weird feeling, son. These doors. These doors are so trolly. You have nades and shit? Thermite. I have symptoms. Oh, what am I doing? Hemi. <laughs> Hemi. 
I'm not gonna talk about it, son. Like, Literally asking for plates. I have a whole fucking plate like box. This. I know damn well someone's about to type in the comment section already. Nothing. Looking for color. Looking for anything. Boom, right there, guys. This is why I don't recommend you wear colorful skins if you're trying to get wins, right? Granted, I am as well, but I'm not going for wins. I'm just going to have some fun and get some good gameplays for the stream. Um, this guy here clearly wants to win really bad, laying prone in a bush, but guess what? When you're wearing purple galaxy skins, eh, you're not you're not very stealthy with that. Found him. Nice. Jeez, boys. Although I do want that skin. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something new. And again, I'm not a perfect player. I've made a lot of mistakes this game. Cost my teammates their life a couple of times. We made some good plays. Um, but I just wanted to put you in the shoes of a better player than the randoms we were spectating. Because spectating randoms, you can learn a little bit if you are in that boat. But a lot of you guys have evolved. A lot of you guys have been watching my videos and other um, YouTubers' videos. So you all have actually become better players, not just with that, but also with practicing and working on your own craft. But again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel today. Follow me over on Twitch if you guys want to catch the streams in real time. And also follow me on Facebook Gaming if you guys want to watch some Rebirth Island breakdowns and or gameplay. But again, you have a good one. Good luck in Vanguard. Good luck in Warzone. But until next time, boys, keep on improving.